Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be your tour guide today. We are in Las Vegas, and today we're going to be checking out the Orleans. This video was filmed late August before Labor Day. This will be a full resort tour of my one night stay. It's a Thursday into a Friday. First impressions, the Orleans is very colorful and very fun. This is my first time visiting here, and I'm very excited to share my adventure. The Orleans is not on the Strip, but it's a short ride away. I'm looking at Google Maps now. It looks like the closest hotel time-wise to drive there would be going to Cosmo. It says it's five minutes, but that all depends on the traffic. When I was checking in, I was coming from Rio, which, which is a short cab ride away. It is a little after 12 p.m. and I'm gonna go see if it's possible for me to check in. The kiosk said there would be an extra charge if I were to check in now. So I went to the desk and they said the same thing. Honestly, I'm really not here to sit in my room, but I do have bags, so I think I'm just gonna take my bags to the bell desk. Next to the bell desk, you can find Java Vegas Coffee. It opens at 5 a.m. and closes around dinner time. First thing I'm gonna do is get my player's card. I already have a Boyd's card, but I just need it reprinted. I figure the money I would spend on getting the room early, I could go play some video poker or maybe get lunch. You know when you anticipate on going somewhere for a really long time and you finally get there and sometimes it looks nothing like it and sometimes it looks exactly like it? This looked exactly like I thought it was going to look. It is large but not a super resort. There's tons of places to eat. It's very colorful. And because it's not in the middle of the strip, it's not very busy. At least it wasn't when I was there on a Thursday at noon, right before Labor Day. You could even find chain restaurants and happy hour. Most of the upper scale restaurants are open for dinner only. For casual dining, there is a food court as well. Have you been to the Orleans before? Where do you like to dine? I didn't personally dine at the food court at all. There is a Subway and there is a Baskin Robbins. For pizza, pasta, calzone type items, they have a Sabaro. They also have a Fuddruckers. Some of these places also serve breakfast. I will show you where I decided to go to breakfast later on in this video. We still have a lot to see. For food, I think I'm just going to wait till after I check in and go out for dinner time so I could dine at one of the restaurants. Thinking about doing video poker. My comfortable poker playing on video poker is the X Games 5 cent max bet, but I'm not finding that at any of the poker bars. There is a showroom at the Orleans. And look at this, I haven't seen one of these in years. There is a non-smoking section at the Orleans. I did find my video poker machine and I was really excited. It was doing pretty well. It was one of the times that I was wishing that I played more than five cents. I probably would have done pretty well. I ended up coming out about $40 ahead. Hey, it's 3 p.m. now. Let's go get my room. I requested a corner room. They didn't have one, but they were able to get me a room that was way down the end of the hallway. I like those rooms because they tend to be more quiet. Hallways were the average size. Here is a look at a regular run of the house room. I didn't ask for anything fancy. I didn't even ask for an upgrade for a view. I just want to see what the cheapest room looks like at the Orleans. The TV was new and upgraded and had all the fancy apps, including Chromecast. Only problem with going in late August is look at the temperatures still. <laughs> but the crowds are much lighter and the prices are much better. The room itself was quite spacious. This room had two queen beds as well as a sitting area. The couch was just a couch, not a pullout. Okay, let's go take a look at my non-view room. <laughs> it's actually a view of the mountains. For a fee, you could get an upgraded room, which is a view of the pool or of the strip. We'll be touring the pool after this room tour. I booked this room on a third party site. I believe it was Vegas.com. I don't always recommend that. It's always best booked direct, but the rate was a lot cheaper. But always, if you have loyalty to a certain casino brand, booking direct is definitely the best. Let's go check out the bathroom. It seemed extra large, but I think it's because the closet is part of the bathroom. No bells and whistles here. It was everything you need. It was clean, but it wasn't fancy or luxurious. It was a very long rectangle shape. There was a toilet with a shower bathtub combination. The shower was tiled and it had a cloth shower curtain and handrails. Of course, this could vary from room to room. The room cost about $28 plus a resort fee and taxes, so it was probably about $70 altogether. I love the window. There was a window in the shower that opened. I thought that was really cool. 
I really personally liked the room. I felt it was very cozy and comfortable, but I tend to like older styles. I don't know if this would be for everyone. If you're looking for the safe and can't find it, it's in within the drawer space. <laughs> I couldn't find the safe. It is carpeted and it is tile and it has wallpaper. And this is your heat and air conditioning. Electric outlets are sufficient, but not updated. It's not modern, but I enjoyed all the New Orleans little touches of style. I wasn't expecting this, but I really enjoyed the bed. It was really soft. The pillows were really good. Size-wise, they were very long, oversized pillows. If you're really cozy and comfortable and you don't want to go out, they have room service. Typical kind of diner menu, nothing fancy. We're going to be going to dinner very soon. They still have phones, too. You don't see this too much in Las Vegas anymore. The colors were pretty neutral. And the style, like I said, you could call it dated or you could call it a little old-fashioned. You know, it's New Orleans themed, you know, so it kind of fit that. I felt it was very appropriate for the New Orleans theming. One thing I was very impressed about was the TV and the TV selections though. Having the Netflix option right on your remote control, that is really cool. You don't see that a lot in casinos at all. They want you in the casino. They don't want you watching Netflix and YouTube. They provide you with an access code to sign into your accounts. Just make sure when you check out that you erase them. I'm sure they erase automatically, but you never know. Let's look out a window to see how far away the strip is. It's in the distance, but you can see everything from Mandalay Bay to Resorts World. I'm sure this is beautiful at night. You could probably walk over there, but for what it would cost to get an Uber or Lyft, I would just do that because Vegas itself is so much walking. Save yourself the steps. Now we're going to check out the beautiful pool at the Orleans. This video was filmed about 6 p.m. The day I was there, it was open till 7 o'clock at night. It says on the website during the summer hours, it's open till 9. That's very impressive because a lot of resorts in Las Vegas close their pools very early. There's a bar and snacks and places to dine. Maybe someone can help me out here because I can't seem to find this answer. I do not believe that this pool is open in the winter. It, I think it is from spring till fall because I can't find any information about winter hours. This pool area was very large, very well laid out. I really enjoyed it. I wish I had time to go in this pool. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and please like the video and subscribe to my channel and hang out in Las Vegas with me. I have a lot to share with you. Let's go check out the day beds and the cabanas. One thing that impressed me pretty instantly was the prices of the day beds and the cabanas. I've been to many resorts in Las Vegas and I always tell everyone the best pools, whatever, but sometimes the best pools that are the biggest and most popular have the biggest price tags on these items. Mandalay Bay Pool and Beach has always been one of my favorites and it still is, but you're talking three, four times as much money for a day to spend in a cabana as you would here for the same size cabana. And actually these cabanas are really nice. You can view prices and book a cabana right on their website. If you're not interested in the pools or the cabanas or day beds, just fast forward a little bit. I'll be taking you back into the casino and out to dinner and breakfast very soon. Another thing I liked is I liked how most of these were very separated. Some of the places that I've seen this week, they're like seriously right on top of each other. Like you might as well all just be hanging out together. But this was nice and spread out. I don't know. I thought this pool was really nice. The hot tub was really huge. This may be open in winter. I'm not sure. I would call the desk directly if you want to know that information. That's why I'm really kind of reluctant to give out current prices because prices change all the time. Do you stay at Orleans? Do you go there all the time? Do you work there? Let me know in the comments below if you want to add anything. I would love to hear from you. And I really appreciate any information that you would like to offer. This is just my visit, my first time here, just offering my first time impressions. And my first impressions were very positive. I wasn't expecting a bad pool, but this pool was a lot nicer than I was expecting. And I would have went swimming, but I was really hungry. I haven't ate at all today, so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna go find something to eat. I'm about halfway through my 17 day stay in Las Vegas now. It's been one heck of a ride. I checked in and out of 10 different places. I know, I'm insane, but I love it. I hope that my video tours will help people decide where they wanna stay when they come to Las Vegas and also inspire people to travel alone. If you don't have anybody that wants to go with you, 
It's a little hard, it's a little scary at first, but tell you, it's really fun and very rewarding. The sports book here is very large. The vibe in here, I could tell right away, just walking around, that there's a lot of locals that go here or people that come here often. Everyone kind of seemed to know where they were going. <laughs> I usually go unnoticed in big casinos, but over here the security was pretty much on me. Not in a mean way, but they kind of wanted to know what I was doing. I don't know if they were just being friendly, but they were offering me tours to go upstairs. They have a movie theater up here. This would definitely be a nice place to take a family. I never personally brought my kids to Las Vegas. I did once when they were like one in three and we stayed at Polo Towers and I never did it again. It just wasn't my thing with them. We did like Disney World and Busch Gardens and places like that. But if I were to bring my kids to Las Vegas when they were small, this wouldn't be a bad place. There definitely was a lot for them to see and do without all the Las Vegas madness that I would be protecting them from. This is all seriously casino grooming. They are starting them really young, right? All those bright flashy lights. Pump some money in me. <laughs> and now the downstairs, this is the real casino for us. I want to figure out which restaurant to try. I have to be honest, I usually research places really thoroughly before I go anywhere, but I kind of was just winging it. I had no idea what was even going to be here. So I just randomly went on Facebook to a Las Vegas group and I asked people where they like to eat when they go to the Orleans. And I had all different answers, but I had a lot of votes for Bailiwick. Sounded like my kind of place. I like places that are casual enough, has a good and interesting menu with decent prices. I really honestly don't enjoy spending $100 on my own dinner. The menu had a lot of variety. I was looking at this stromboli. That sounded really good, but my server said it would take about a half hour to make. And normally it probably wouldn't have bothered me, but I was kind of feeling a little uncomfortable this night. May have felt a little homesick, maybe. I don't know, I was alone a lot. And I think because a lot of people are locals there, they have their own friends. So I didn't really like make any acquaintances. Sometimes I go into like a, a hotel and I can make best friends with somebody in an elevator. It was me probably just having mid-trip blues. <laughs> the real struggles of a Gemini. But this definitely helped. I had a jalapeno margarita and I ordered just, it was just a chicken wrap club. It was good. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just kind of went for basics. And check this out. They even have a bowling alley here. The bowling alley and the movie theater are both on the second floor. And they must have leagues up here because there was more people up here than there were in the whole casino. Again, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this was much larger than I thought it was going to be. I always love the sound of the bowling alley. It kind of brings me back, you know, into a nostalgia place going with my parents when I was a kid. If you forgot anything or you just want to go shopping, <laughs> they have a pretty large gift shop that has drinks and snacks and clothing, souvenirs. They have alcohol, they have wine, bathing suits and pool items, and the prices were pretty good. You know, obviously they're gonna be a little more upcharged than a regular store like Walgreens, but they definitely were more reasonable than other resorts. It's next morning now and I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling very refreshed and I'm ready to kick some butt. Let's go. This is about 7.30 in the morning. First of all, I'm gonna take you outside just to show you what the parking situation is like. No parking garages here. <laughs> I love that. I hate parking garages. If you are here without a car and you need one, there is a budget right next door. There are assigned spaces for handicap parking as well as Boyd's Titanium Players. There are stores and restaurants within walking distance and there is a designated rideshare stop for Lyft and Uber. Taxis are available right in front of the main entrance. Before I went to breakfast, I played a little video poker and I didn't do too bad. I decided to have breakfast at Whisk Cafe. It's mostly breakfast and lunch, but they have dinner on the weekends. This is more of an elevated breakfast menu. It's not your typicals. It's more like a brunch. Everything's just a little fancier, a little bit better. This is my kind of menu. I really like this. It's the kind of place that offers Bloody Marys and mimosas with your breakfast and anywhere that has hot sauce on the table. For me, <laughs> win. So it's Friday now and it's the start of Labor Day weekend. So today I'm gonna to be checking into a timeshare called Club de Soleil. My stays in Las Vegas are always a combination between timeshares and resorts. Hmm, I think I'm gonna get this breakfast BLT. It was a tough choice though. This is a really good menu. 
Another thing I loved is they put coffee on my table. I love that. I want to refill my own. And the breakfast was really good. It came with potatoes. I thought the value was really good. Now we're going to head back to my room. Checkout is at 11 a.m. I'm going to take a shower here and pack up. Between the bathroom and the living room, there is a door with a slider. I love the ornate detail on the handle. You're either going to get this room or you're not. I receive a lot of questions about the shower, so I like to show what the shower is like. If you want to know about the shower, this part is for you. It had wonderful pressure and hot water. Make sure you clear your logins. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, there is a chocolate factory here as well. <laughs> I could wait for an Uber or Lyft and maybe save a buck or two, or maybe three, but there's taxis right outside, so I think I'm just going to jump in one of those. But I love my stay at the Orleans, and I would definitely recommend it and stay there again. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, here are some playlists for you to explore. But whatever you do, make sure that you book that trip and you pack your bags and you go. Las Vegas is awesome and you deserve to be here. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Always be well to yourself and kind to others. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.